In a previous video, I demonstrated how to use MNOVA binding to process one protein ligand binding titration series interactively. Now I'm going to show you how to do that in batch mode for multiple titration series. As you can see in this data set, we have 38 spectra and some of them are for one ligand, L1, and some are for another ligand, L2. Each series has the various concentrations of the ligand and the same concentration of the protein as listed in this titration text file. In the ligand's text file listed are the names of each of the two ligands. In the peaks text file we have the assigned peaks from the protein-only HSQC spectrum for which we are going to track the chemical shift changes and compute the KDs. Now, I'm going to start MNOVA and use M-Binding to do the batch processing based on those four text files. First of all, I go to the Tools ribbon and start MNOVA binding from here. I bring up the Chemical Shift Perturbation panel. I click this CSP Open tool to enter the base directory where the titration spectra are located. The titration file that specifies the spectral names and concentrations of the titration series. The ligands file specifies the names of each ligand. The peaks file that specifies the assigned HSQC peaks for which we are going to follow the chemical shift perturbation. Here we also specify the name and location of a report file. Optionally, we can specify a processing template file although in this case we're going to just use the default processing parameters. In the settings we make sure we're using the SER and the 2D FID files to reprocess the spectra. Now I click OK and MNOVA will go through all ligands and for each ligand it will import each SER file and do automatic processing. Stack them, import the peaks follow their chemical shift changes and compute the KDs for each of the peaks, calculating also the average KD and generating an MNOVA document containing all the results. Now the batch processing is completed and you will see the two tabs, each showing the results for one ligand. The first one, as you can see, there are nine spectra stacked and for each of the test peaks from the peak list the chemical shift perturbation results and KDs are calculated. Here from the general tab you can see the spectral names, protein concentrations and ligand concentrations for the current titration series. In the peaks tab there is an overview of all the peaks, their KDs and chemical shift perturbation values etc. In the other individual peak tabs you can see the details of each test peak, including the chemical shift changes in each dimension, the measured CSPs and the calculated CSPs from the fitting function. To see the details of a certain peak, you can double click on a row in the peaks tab and it will automatically zoom into that peak in the spectra and show the details in an individual peak tab here. You can see the similar results of the other ligand by switching to the other document tab. For a document, if you made any changes, you can click on Save Tool and save the changes and click the cross button to close it. In the open document, if you still want to add more test peaks, you can use the peak picking tool here to add more peaks as I showed you in the previous video. You can report the results for all the spectra, for all the test peaks and for the individual peaks as I've shown you in the previous videos also. To view the general results for the whole batch processing, you can go to the folder where the report text file was specified and open it using Microsoft Excel using this data command 
from text and open that report text file. Make sure you are using the commas as delimiters. As you see, the results are all listed here, including the document for each ligand, the average KD, and the other statistical analysis results. I hope this gives you an idea about how to use MNOVA binding to do a batch processing of multiple protein ligand titration series. Hope you enjoyed it. Download now for our 45-day free trial.